10 sea creatures scarier than sharks. Ever since the world was introduced to the Jaws movies, there has been nothing as scary as sharks in the open waters. They're the ocean's big bad, right? Sarcastic but they might not be the only ones. That's not a fish. From a fish that fishes other fish, to one that is pretty much... <laughs> you mean a, a pescivore? A fish. This, this, is, this does feel like a fan cam. The fucking... The, the, <laughs> the music and the way it's like teleporting. Yeah, like a lot of fish eat other fish, by the way. It's not uncommon. It's invisible until you're bit. To one that straight up swallows its prey whole. It doesn't Here. do that. <laughs> but none of these things are true. Or 10 sea creatures far well, scarier than sharks that you scarier. might not know about. Number 10. Magna Pina Squids. 10 sea creatures scarier than sharks. Okay. Long squid. Deep in the ocean, no capability of ever hurting a human being is the 10th sea creature scarier than sharks. Squids are usually just very creepy. They're squishy, will lather you with ink, and can take anyone down. But the Magnum- can they? can they take anyone down? Is that a thing they can do? Magnum. I'm pretty sure I could take a squid. Have you thought about opening a VOD YouTube channel? Have you thought about using the search feature on YouTube? Look at that. Crazy. Number two, angler fish. They'll hide in the sand and whip these fishing Just rods ugly, side to not side scary. like bait. Some of the angler fish also have Is a- Is it the Luigi's Mansion song? I heard dun 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 Glowing fishing rod, which makes it even easier for them to- I think this is a remix, a lo-fi remix of the Luigi's Mansion theme is what's playing right now. <laughs> Tracked prey. So if you see an angler fish in the wild, you might actually be seeing seven, which is just even scarier. So scary. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to Facts Junkie and hit the bell icon in the next five seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Wow. Give it a uh, what was I going to say? I really don't remember. I had something to say. Yeah, I don't remember. Fringe head. Fuck it. Starcastic fringe head. They're not scary, they just open their face really wide like those lizards from Jurassic Park. No matter which sarcastic fringe head it is, they're all extremely territorial about their home, even if it's a fairly dingy one. So if they so ever cool see looking. another fish- I don't really find- do you guys find like the opening of the mouth like that? Scary? I find it more like cool than scary. I don't know. Yeah, it's just an underwater Dilophosaur but it doesn't spit things at you. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it works on other fish, but it just kind of looks goofy to me as a human being. Fighting off <laughs> other French heads isn't the only use of this jaw though. They also Aren't use they it tiny? to grab hold of their prey and with their needle-like teeth, pierce through their body. How big are sarcastic French heads? Oh, they can get up to a foot. I mean, that's still pretty small for something to be terrifying, to be a sea creature scarier than sharks, but. Bodies and eat them instantly. This yeah, I also thought they were goby sized, but apparently not. They can get up to a foot. Seemingly harmless, but totally insane fish that no one should mess with. Number seven, fang tooth fish. Hog. Same thing fish as an angler fish. Fish aren't really known for their teeth. They're actually the fish with the largest teeth to body ratio. So technically, they have the largest <laughs> Look at the way that he teeth swims. fish ever. He looks so dumb. Why is he trying so hard? Something has to be wrong with this fang tooth. This can't be how fang tooths normally swim. So that must be the most inefficient locomotion I've ever seen. He's going so hard with his pectoral fins. Safe to say that these guys. Holy shit! That's actually how they. Guys swim. are really packing a pretty intense bite. Now this guy's got. That's not really out. the only float. scary thing about them. Their whole bodies are covered in a zombie-like scales. Damn, they're so to the touch, cool. It feels like. You're telling me that's not cool as fuck, dude. I love this fish. I am not scared of this at all. This looks sick. Number six. Piranha. Yeah! Piranha! Sea creature! Sea creature! Scary! Piranhas live in fresh water and aren't scary at all. For starters, they have rivers extremely sharp teeth. equal the ocean. Ah yes, inland rivers where piranhas live are the same thing as being a sea creature. Number five, gulper eel. Really? Okay, actually, you know what? I've been a little harsh on videos calling things scary. I understand that scary does not equal dangerous. The animal does not have to be dangerous to be scary. And gulper eels can look a little weird. But again, it's just something that I find like cool or fascinating, not scary. Like when I see something like that, you know? Gulper isn't really the only name they're known for though. They're That's just also called not a gulper eel. That's just not a gulper eel.
Not even close. Pelican eels, because the way their mouths are shaped is almost exactly like that of a pelican. These guys usually just hang out at the very bottom of the ocean, close to 10,000 meters below the surface of the water. So seeing them in the open waters isn't usually that common. See, it's I just think that's cool. I guess it could be scary if you didn't know anything about it, but I just think it's cool. Well, not impossible. Number four, sheep's head. <laughs> oh my God, molars on a fish. Kind of actually terrifying. The sheep's head is a fish that could swim. That's an entirely different fish. You've shown two Number different four. fish. This is Arcosargus probatocephalus, like sheep's head. Sheep's and this head. is a sheep's head sheep's grass. Head is a fish These are, you've shown two different fish. That could swim by you. And at first, you wouldn't even give it a second look. But when these fish get close. Again, this is a different, you're just, you're going between different fish names. This guy needs to watch my video on common names. Clearly he has not watched my video on common names, which made it very clear that there are five different fish called sheep's head. He's showing this one and this one, but they're different fish. Really just disappointing that he would do that. Clearly needs to educate himself. They have human teeth. Yes, you heard it right. They don't have the average razor sharp teeth many fish have, it's not human teeth, it's called a pharyngeal mill. They have rows upon rows upon rows of human teeth. They're so human-like that they can even be flossed and brushed like we do with our teeth. <laughs> Who looks at a sheep's head and goes, yeah, you could brush and floss those. I mean, I guess, but like... <laughs> can you imagine going out for a spin and getting bit by one of these oddly terrifying rock crushers? No, because they don't Number bite people. Three. Lamprey. Oh my god, the lamprey. Blood-sucking parasites seem like a thing that movies just made up so they could scare us with something. But the lamprey no, proves that that isn't just a mythical creature. It's very real, and it's in the oceans waiting for- not all of them are parasites. Be nice to lampreys. Something to grab onto. Number two, lamprey. Pyara. The pyara. Wolves usually stay out of the water. But the Pyara fish is called the wolf fish because it looks like it has wolf teeth. Is it called the wolf this fish? This is one of the scariest predators in the sea, and within a split second, devour their prey whole. It's Pyara such a low resolution image. <laughs> I love the way they find stock footage for these videos. It just Googles like sheep's head footage and just throws whatever in, regardless of whether it's actually the fish or not. Puts up these terribly low quality images. They're so scary that the smaller fish they usually prey on are so terrified of them that they try to hide far, far away from them. It's just not true. He's eating a common goldfish that someone put in there. Where does their bottom teeth go when they close their mouth? They have slots, essentially. Any, any animal that has large canines has slots uh, where the teeth sort of go into. I don't know how to explain it better than that. Like... Any animal that has those really big canines has those. Either they hang out of the mouth or they go into slots in the mouth. I think there are dogs that have that too. Number one, oh, Goliath well. tigerfish. Yeah, I figured Pyara was leading into Goliath tigerfish. I bet it hurts when they don't go in the slots. Yeah, a Pyara closing its mouth wrong is probably similar to like us biting our lip or our cheek or something. What makes them even worse is the fact that they can whip open their jaws 180 degrees and swallow their prey whole <laughs> so fast. Why is this the recommendation? Come on, man. I just want to watch a fish video. <laughs> is that true, 180 degrees? So he's saying that their jaw could open in like a perfect up and down? I doubt it, but I mean, maybe.